And you know, there's really no one else's opinion who I care about more than hers, so. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most unexpected TV kisses. Doesn't mean I leave your father to perish on this island. Thank you. Just to get it over with. Just to get it over with. And you swear we both go right back to hating each other as soon as it's over. Oh, totally. And we never tell anyone. <sighs> never. No, that night meant a lot to me, too. And it wasn't because I was in a bad place or anything. It just meant a lot to me because you're really hot. For this list, we'll be looking at small screen kisses that not only made us swoon, but also took us totally by surprise. From out of the blue couplings to unforeseeable plot twists, some of these entries are definite spoilers. So here's your warning. Before we begin, let us know in the comments what your favorite television kiss of all time is below. Number 10. Style Stalinsky and Lydia Martin, Teen Wolf. In 2011, MTV introduced viewers to Teen Wolf, a supernatural teen drama inspired by the 1985 Michael J. Fox movie of the same name. I think I'm having a panic attack. Fans were treated to many surprises throughout the series' six-season run, and one of the most unexpected moments happened between the characters Styles and Lydia. Just trying to think about something else. Anything else. After experiencing a panic attack, Lydia helps calm down Styles by kissing him on the lips. Styles, look at me. Look at me. The moment, while not intentionally romantic, changed what was originally only an unrequited crush on Styles' part by helping to set the foundation for one of the series' favorite later couplings. The pair are affectionately referred to as Stydia by fans. Number 9. Fleabag and Priest Fleabag And you never felt them go somewhere? No, they were already gone. His beautiful neck. What? What? In a series filled with surprising moments, Fleabag's hot priest kiss takes the cake. In the final and second season, Fleabag finds herself facing her most challenging romantic prospect ever, an attractive and charming religious man played by Andrew Scott. You tell me what's weighing on your heart and I listen without judgment and in complete confidence. Sounds dodgy. The stakes are high as he not only breaks his holy and sacred vow by kissing her, but he also does it in a confession booth. While the smooch might be forbidden, there's no denying that it filled the mold of the series' signature shock value while also managing to show depth and solid character development. Number 8. Ben Wyatt and Leslie Nope, Parks and Recreation Of course, any Parks and Rec fan knows that for Leslie Nope and Ben Wyatt, their first interaction with each other was not a great start. Your department, all the way down here, is not a priority. And frankly, you're not even supposed to be in the building, Leslie. You're non-essential. When the former teen mayor, played by Adam Scott, joins the Pawnee gang in season two, he has his work cut out for him, but he eventually gets on Nope's good side. However, it's not until season three in the episode Road Trip that the two finally plant one on each other. Oh, hey. Hey. Chris just wanted me to drop off these receipts. Oh, well, he's not here. He took off. Okay. What's surprising about this kiss is that although fans had their suspicions, they had to wait a long time before it happened, making the moment even more unexpected and satisfying. Uh oh. That and the fact that city manager Chris Traeger has a strict no dating policy, of course. Eventually, though, the kiss becomes the catalyst for one of television comedy's favorite couples and proves that love isn't always at first sight. Number 7. Kurt Hummel and Dave Karofsky, Glee. Like many teen-centered narratives, Glee never shied away from depicting the harsh realities of high school life. From slushy facials to dumpster tosses, the New Directions dealt with some seriously disturbing behavior at the hands of their peers. Yeah, I don't dig on chubby boys who sweat too much and are gonna be bald by the time they're 30. Do not push me, Hummel. Kurt Hummel had an especially hard time being physically and verbally mistreated by homophobic student Dave Karofsky. In a season two twist, Kurt confronts Dave, who ends up kissing him. You can't punch the gay out of me any more than I can punch the ignoramus out of you. Take it out of my face! You are nothing but a scared little boy who can't handle how extraordinarily ordinary you are! As it turns out, the football player is struggling to accept his own sexuality, which plays out later in the season. I don't want you near me. Unlike the other kisses on this list, it is not romantic or consensual. Rather, the kiss is used to explore the difficult realities LGBTQ youth face and the responsibility of educators to protect their students. It's taken me a while, but for the first time in my life, I'm trying to be honest about what I feel. 
Number 6. Jake Peralta and Amy Santiago Brooklyn Nine-Nine From The Office's Jim and Pam, to Cheers' Sam and Diane, staff romances are a staple of the workplace sitcom, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Jake and Amy are no exception to the fan-favorite trope. Oh, yeah, it would mean so much to Dora and me. I would have made a reservation, but I didn't know if she was going to say yes. Oh, I love how nervous you were, you little goose. <laughs> In the season two finale, the partners go undercover as a couple named Johnny and Dora. To protect their aliases, the two share their first kiss. Oh crap, he saw us. Uh... But it's not until later in the episode where they revert back to themselves and share a private, real kiss. So a lot of change around here, huh? Though they'd both confessed feelings for each other earlier in the series, Amy had also stated she didn't want to go out with a police officer. You're right. We shouldn't date cops. It's, we're a great team. We work great together. I don't want to mess that up. This expression of affection is so unexpected that it left both them and the audience a little speechless, to say the least. Number 5. Rory Gilmore and Jess Mariano – Gilmore Girls from the get-go, there was a spark between Stars Hollow's resident bad boy Jess and studious intellectual Rory. However, Gilmore Girls fans were never quite sure when, how, and if the pair would ever become more than just friends. What are you doing here? Hello to you, too. Is everything okay? You look nice. Thank you. Between Jess's attitude and Rory's relationship with Dean, their budding attraction had a lot of obstacles in its way. By season two, fans got their wish when the two finally locked lips right before Suki's wedding. Although they weren't endgame, their kiss lived up to the age-old notion that opposites attract. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rory. Don't say a word. Number four, Sam Puckett and Freddie Benson. I Carly. Ah, first kisses. Sometimes they're romantic, but most of the time, they're just downright awkward. I was just gonna say that we should kiss. However, for iCarly's Sam Puckett and Freddie Benson, their first smooch was kind of perfect. In the season two episode, aptly titled I Kiss, Sam publicly reveals that Freddie has never been kissed, leaving him so embarrassed that he starts skipping school. So now, guess what? Freddie's never kissed a girl. Never, not once. She later confesses on their web show that she hasn't been kissed either, and the former frenemies share not only their first with each other, but also their first kiss ever. Wasting time at another day. Earning them the couple name of Seti by fans, a young romance blossoms between the pseudo-enemies turned friends, with this moment going down as one of the most surprising in the history of the Nickelodeon comedy. I hate you. Hate you too. Number 3. Monica Geller and Chandler Bing – Friends Yes, Ross and Rachel's first kiss will go down in television history, but given their will-they-or-won't-they dynamic, it was inevitable. <music> However, not even the most dedicated Friends fan could have foreseen what transpired between Chandler and Monica in the season 4 finale. You think you knew I was here? <laughs> After waking up together on the morning of Ross's infamous wedding to Emily, the two BFFs are just as shocked as viewers by their hookup. Well, I've, I've never done that with you before. <laughs> it becomes clear that their tryst is far from being just a fling when the two share their first on-screen kiss in the first episode of season 5, which solidifies them as the romance that we never saw coming. I'm still on London time. Does that count? <laughs> oh, that counts. Oh, good. <laughs> Number 2. Emma Swan and Captain Hook – Once Upon a Time On ABC's Once Upon a Time, adventure and romance are fixtures of the fairy tale themed fantasy series. Perhaps gratitude is in order now. Yeah, that's what the thank you is for. But the fan favorite pairing of the charming outlaw, Captain Hook, also known as Killian Jones, and protagonist Emma Swan is by far the most hot and passionate. In season three, after learning that Hook saved her father, Emma thanks him by planting one on him. So all your father's life is worth to you? Please. You couldn't handle it. Perhaps you're the one who couldn't handle it. While fans may have had an inkling that the pair would pucker up eventually, no one could have expected just how red hot their lip lock would be. The kiss ends with Emma making it known that it's nothing more than a one-time thing, but it sparks an epic romance between the two that is nothing short of a fairy tale. Oh, 
For one time thing. Don't follow me. Wait five minutes, go get some firewood or something. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Barney Stinson and Robin Scherbatsky, How I Met Your Mother. One could have never expected that these two characters would hook up. I love you. Let's be friends. Okay, friends then. I love you. Uh, let's get married. No, you're smothering me. Okay, forget it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Lucifer Morningstar and Chloe Decker. Lucifer. This kiss between the Lord of Hell and the detective took fans by surprise. Detective. Catherine Kate Beckett and Richard Castle. Castle. It was a long time coming, but still unexpected considering how their partnership began. Will Gardner and Alicia Florick, the good wife, took place in a potentially very public place, his office. Jonah Sims and Amelia Amy Sosa, Superstore. These co-workers share a kiss in the middle of a tornado. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Nick Miller and Jessica Day – New Girl Among all the surprising and exciting kisses in recent memory, New Girl's Nick and Jess's first lip lock is a definite crowd pleaser. God, Miller just kissed me already! No, not like this! It's full of shock and passion, but above all else, exceeds expectations. In the season 2 episode Cooler, after spoiling his guy's night out, Jess promises to help Nick win over Holly. She's a girl he met at the bar, played by model-turned-actress Brooklyn Decker. After a drinking game goes awry, Jess and Nick find themselves being peer pressured into kissing by their pals. Kiss, 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 kiss. The time spent with their friends ends without the pair kissing, but then what starts off as a normal good night turns into a full-on makeout session between the roomies. Good night, Nick. Good night. It's a sweet and satisfying moment that still sweeps new girl fans right off their feet years later. I'd meant something like that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.